Hey, what's up guys? It's Yeti here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we will be comparing high and low DPI in FPS games, specifically in Valorant. Why is this important, you might ask? Well, a lot of people talk about this phenomenon known as pixel skipping whenever you're using way too high in-game sensitivity compared to your DPI. And I think for most people that are using 400 DPI, they already have some sort of pixel skipping in the game. That being said though, I wanted to see how high the sensitivity slash DPI should go to make it feel comfortable. I personally, I use 800 DPI with 0.47 in-game sensitivity. I also use default Windows sensitivity multiplier and yeah, let's get into the test. So there's one thing I wanna quickly get out of the way before we show the results of the video is dots per inch, also known as DPI. It's actually a misconception. Uh, this in reality should mean PPI, which stands for pixels per inch. DPI or PPI is something that you can set on your mouse hardware depending on what you have. I use a Logitech G203, which can go anywhere from 200 up to 8,000 DPI. This just makes the mouse either more sensitive or less sensitive. You know, like the smaller movements will be recognized faster. And I just kind of think of it as this way. Let's say you have a mouse pad. The higher your DPI, more mini squares are on your mouse pad. And the lower your DPI, the squares get much bigger and therefore smaller movements are not easily as recognizable. All right, so moving on to my mouse settings, I'm using, as I said, 800 DPI with 0.47 in-game sensitivity, which equals 376 E DPI, which stands for effective DPI. That's the real sensitivity in game, which determines how much your mouse movements affect your crosshair movements. So first I took the 376 effective DPI and I divided it by 200, which brought me to test number one. We're gonna use 200 DPI on the mouse and 1.88 in game sensitivity. This felt overall okay, but I did have this weird jittery slash low FPS feeling. I think if I could bring down my DPI to even less, let's say 100, it would be even more noticeable. But yeah, I just, I didn't feel as fluent, as smooth as I would on my 800 DPI. So that was just odd. I also tried doing the shooting test and I just couldn't perform as well. I would actually tell you guys to try this out. Go as low as your mouse can go. Use your eDPI method to convert your sensitivity to the exact same value. And yeah, try it out. I personally didn't really like it that much. Another thing also popped up, which is the reason why I do not use 400 DPI is my workflow just, I can't work normally. I have two monitors. I like to edit a lot. I jump from one monitor to the second with my mouse all the time. And 400 DPI is already too slow for me. So 200 was a nightmare. I had a hard time going around, you know, just moving my Chrome tabs and stuff like that. So that's actually one of the main reasons why I do not use low DPI. And for those of you who already do use the low DPI, I guess you're just used to it. All right, so then we move to test number two, which was 8,000 DPI. I used the same eDPI method and I got in-game sensitivity of 0.047, which is exactly 10 times smaller than my original sensitivity because the DPI is also times 10. This DPI was so high, it reminded me of when I was young and when I was playing WoW with literally 8K DPI, it's a nightmare. I had a hard time clicking around the menu. This is really, really fast, but in game in game felt very very good it was very very smooth i was able to hit shots i did even feel a little bit smoother than 800 dpi which actually does make sense because a dpi this high with such a small multiplier should result in the smallest possible pixel skipping out there but even though all these pros a high DPI like this also has its cons. As I said, I was not even able to use the in-game shop because my cursor was moving way too fast. And I simply do not like messing with my Windows pointer speed option in the Windows settings. So I was like, heck it, let's go back to 800. Overall, this was a really awesome test. I would definitely recommend you guys to maybe take your DPI, put it times two. For example, go from 400 to 800 or from 450 to 900 or maybe from 500 to 1000 and just try it out and see if the smoothness really is a lot more noticeable. Because for me, it was when I did a times 10, but overall 800 already feels really smooth, but 800 is a pretty high DPI for FPS players because I think like the average for pro FPS players is probably between 400 and 500. That being said though, just another little thing. This will not make you a pro or a noob. If you previously used 
uh, uh, since the Vita had a lot of pixel skipping and you're going to remove pixel skipping, you will not jump three ranks in one day. I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart and I believe in this mentality. Every pro player can perform well with any sensitivity, any settings, and almost under any circumstances because they're just that good at the game. It's more than just, you know, being able to click heads. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Remember to sub with the notification bell and I will see you soon. Have a great rest of your day, boys. Later.